first. Man, those clouds look so good. Partly cloudy day here at the sunny Microtech, New Babbage. Looks like there's very little traffic on the road there. This is Chopper 9 coming in for a landing. I'm going to be sad when we can't wear heavy, anything better than light armor in the cockpit for, of a fighter. Gotten used yep. to being, I've gotten used to be able to wear anything I want. I like this uh, new outfit that they, uh, they put in for the, uh, the you can kick it up at Microtech. There's actually a couple different colors of it, like four of them. But the, I think the white one you can pick up at Microtech. I think a chess piece of one of the other ones too is also at Microtech. But you can buy this at the uh, Shubin Mining Center here at Microtech, or you can get it up at Tressler. Oh, you know what? While I'm hearing comments, I should probably buy a new scope for my gun. Ooh, hey, these guys run too fast. It won't fit in the Nomad. <laughs> the, the new truck. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it would. Yeah, I doubt you can even get the first two wheels on there. Ah, uh, no, it's too wide. Yeah. The overhang on the Nomad does limit what you can do, too. Ooh. Bad frame. 
items. Um, okay, so that's why I don't have a lot of those. Because they don't sell a lot of those here. I need to go on a component run with my cargo ship again. And bring some components back to uh, New Babbage. That's why. Okay, well, I guess for the time being... I will put a size 3 on there. Yep, there we go. Mm. Not getting good frames today here at New Babbage. Probably shouldn't be wearing a f heavy suit to the expo, but I don't feel like changing. <laughs> changing your outfit is becomes a massive one-hour event. <laughs> yeah, it takes long to fucking change your outfit than Paris Hilton does. And she doesn't wear anything anyway. Yeah, that's true. I don't think RSI really has anything new to show off except for maybe the Scorpius. Yeah, it's just a hologram. Yeah, yeah, it'll just be a hologram. Let's see if the hologram at the front is working today. It wasn't working the other day. Apex Hall? Hmm. Zenith Hall was... Oh, maybe they're going to have a level for each manufacturer so you can go back and... Wow, that's going to be a... Oof. That's going to be a frame rate load. Oh, the hologram for this is working today. Yay! I kind of like what the what they've done with the new hall. The 
They did bug at, cause a bug though. When you zoom in on it, it causes the effect to stop. But. I was kind of figuring they would move it again this year to Lorville or 18. Well, I think they would have had it at Orison if it wasn't for such a the, the frame rate loss. What, what makes this place ideal here um, is that they can put it deep within the planet. Put it, you know, get some distance between you and all the assets up above. So they kind of have a unique advantage for frame right here. To, so they can put as many ships as they kind of want, kind of. But if they start putting multiple levels, ugh, I don't know how that's going to work out. Oh, I didn't check to see if there's any audio files for this. Let me check. The same thing, maybe? Some historians credit Robert Space Industries with the invention of modern spaceflight. For founder Chris Roberts, the prospect of making space travel more accessible was a lifelong dream. And when his company unveiled their prototype, quantum core engine in 2075, suddenly space travel didn't seem that fantastical anymore. Some historians credit Robert Space Industries oh, that's with the invention of modern space. The same one. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Connie's, which we've already seen. Oh, what do we got here? Smallest to biggest. It's pretty amazing to think that RSI makes one of the smallest ships on the market and one of the biggest. It would take about 50 auroras laid end to end to equal the length of one mighty Bengal carrier. There's a factoid that most people don't know. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> so busy looking at everything else, I didn't see your invite. Oh, that's alright. I just uh, opened my Moby and the truck comes to a halt. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have been asking for a cruise control. So let's go downstairs and see maybe some stuff we haven't seen. Oh, I've seen the rover before. Let's see what's on the other side. Yeah, heavy armor was not the right thing to wear to this. There's not even anything over there. Let's check the hollow deck. And the Scorpius. Oh, they got one back to back. I got them back to back in here. The future of X Wing fighters. Yeah, that thing looks almost done, dude. <laughs> At least the exterior model. Very detailed. And that's it. Let's see what's in the next one. Uh, Perseus. Ah, they added a dock. They added a docking collar. Or no, that's a thruster. Looks like a docking collar. 
I hope they add a docking collar because I don't want to have to fucking get this into a hangar all the time. They've been tight-lipped. They've said that this doesn't isn't anything, but come on, look at that. That's some kind of con connection system or something. Yeah, I don't know what that's for. They said it's just an aesthetic design thing. It's like new. No, there's there's you can clearly see there's mechanisms to it and it does stuff. I think some feature will come out with this ship. That might be a cargo loading area. Well, there's a there's actually a bay on the bot on the belly that oh, opens up. Yeah. There. So yeah, it's it's got to be some ship to ship feature, or maybe a a drone system that comes out. I don't know. So. Link them together, make a big battleship. Yeah. And the Polaris. Yeah, that one definitely doesn't look done. So they still haven't really done much with this one. Don't know why they're coming out with a Perseus when they haven't finished to putting out stuff like this. Yeah, this model isn't very detailed. So they're not very far along on the Polaris, I can tell you that. Yeah, I don't believe them, because... You go on the website to ships we already have, and they still haven't updated the website on the specs. Yeah. And pictures. I want my Polaris, damn it. Alright, well, that was pretty much the RSI show. I think we got Auroras in one of the wings, but... God, they put all these freaking exhibits so fucking far apart. <laughs> I wish you could, like, rent a gray cat to get around in. They had, like, a tram that goes around the outer edge. That would be cool. Oh yeah, the, the Mantis. I forgot about the Mantis. But yeah, Aurora's and a Mantis. Yay! So, there seems to be a bug that the Aurora has like a really good, really, really good stealth cross-section. So if you put stealth equipment on it, this thing's fucking a beast. You almost can't get a missile lock on this thing. Really? Yeah. I don't know if they fixed it, but... Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> it, can be a it can be a bit of a menace, because you can't lock any missiles, and it keeps popping in and out of existence, even at close range. Yeah, it makes the Eclipse look like the sun. I mean, you don't have a, a ton of firepower in it, but you can constantly just bite at somebody until they're, you wear them down, force them to run. 
probably make a pretty good scout ship too for checking things out. All right, and that's pretty much the RSI Expo. But uh, I think I know. I think I kind of know why they probably held off on the Polaris. Because if they're going to do a big reveal for Squadron 42, it's going to be all about RSI. My guess is they'll they'll release it to everybody um, for an event for something like that. You know, to whole to pitch the whole RSI. It's Chris Roberts thing. That could be why they, they bumped it and pushed the Banu before it instead of be behind it. So. God, when you look at the Connies in these hangars, man, <laughs> they look so much bigger. When they're on the pad, they don't seem very big, but... And that is it for the RSI Expo.